In this video, I'm going to show you a method to quickly create planes in order to be able to design and draw with flat planes. So I have a uh, polyplane in my scene. I'm going to subdivide it twice. So that's about the geometry. I could do it a third time. So I have enough geometry. Now I'm going to mask the head. And you don't have to be super precise at this stage because I'm going to create se uh, separate pieces for this. So and I'm going to round them off a bit because later on when I'm going to Z remesh, when it's rounded, then I will get a better result with Z remesh. I'm going to turn off my line for now. Then I can do my chest. And you don't have to really worry about proportions at this stage. It's just a quick method at getting out the geometry. Now the legs. And again, you don't have to be super precise. It just quickly generating the geometry, but I do want them a bit rounded. And of course, I'm going to, I'm really going fast right now. If you pay a bit more attention, then of course, your drawing or your masking will be a lot better than mine, but don't want this video to take too long, so I could add some feet. And for the body, I have forgotten my waist in my hips, but that's actually not a problem. The arms. Anyway, I'm going fast. This masking is awful right now, but that's not the point. It's the workflow that's important. So with my masking, now I can do a height points and delete my lower subdiff so I can delete hidden. So when I turn on my polyframe like that, then I'm going to masking. Where is my masking? Masking, and I'm going to mask by features, turn off crease and groups just for border. So. Now my border is masked, control click to invert that mask, drag polish by features up to 100 and now everything has been smoothed out nicely. Clear the mask, go to ge geometry, zero measure, I'm turning it all the way down to 0.1 and zero mesh. And I get a nice looping everywhere, so that's why I rounded off the masking so that I have a, na a nice loop around all the parts so now i can subdivide once maybe even twice but at this stage once is more than enough I'm going to go to white my move brush x symmetry on and i can quickly and then when i select my select rectangle to mask everything out so this way is a method to quickly create geometry for two dimensional plane designing if you will something that I shown you in a previous video so I'm not going to I'm, I'm just going really fast right now and of course when drawing my mask, I could also have drawn the side view and then I would not have to do that separately. If you pay a bit more attention, you can also line up your geometry or your masking so that you don't, that, that you do most of the drawing actually with the mask. And then afterwards you have your figure, you can also save out something like this as a subtool and have starting points so that you don't need to actually go through this method every time but anyway so to recap 
you insert or append a plane 3D, you divide once or twice or three times to have enough geometry. You mask out and you can do so with X symmetry for the front view. You mask out, you delete your lower subdivisions, you hide points, you delete hidden, you mask by borders, invert the mask, polish by features, so to round it off. So when it's nice and smooth, then when you zero mesh, geometry zero mesh point one, then you have a nice looping and now you can subdivide if needed. Just like that. So just wanted to share this workflow with you. Hope you found it useful. Bye.